Hello viewers, today I'm going to teach you how to make this bra uh, to be worn together with this skirt but I'm going to attach the two so that they become undressed and that attaching is just uh, something that the lace can be removed again if the wearer want to wear as a skirt can wear a skirt and the top bra or can wear it as a dress as we continue with this video you are going to see how I will make this one this skirt and then join it with the, the the, the the top bra here using this lace to make it undress so that one can choose to wear it as a skirt or wear it as undress when it is joined because it is just by removing removing this lace so for the dress the wearer will use this lace sorry this uh, this yeah uh, when it is attached to this lace but when you remove as undress you remove the lace and then you use this lace for fastening the skirt at the waist here so it has two laces this is for the dress and this is for the, uh, the skirt now you can see how a bra is open this is the back back side of the bra and this is the front we are going to join here with this uh, uh, lace which will be used to connect the skirt and the top to make it undress so welcome to my tutorial and then and uh, not to forget we are going to use this uh, uh, lace for fastening uh, our bra or our dress when it is undressed at the back of our neck or around our neck so welcome to my tutorial hello viewers Today I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful uh, uh, bra for this dress and the two are detachable at this point. You can remove this lace, you can see it has just extended up to the cleavage but you can remove it if, if the wearer want to wear a skirt or the bra the top bra alone so this is three in one when it is attached this way it is undressed but once detached we can wear the car the, the top bra alone or we can wear the skirt alone or the two we can wear as a skirt and a bra uh, this is how i have made it uh, this uh, this is the front and then uh, once you detach the the top bra you can uh, this lace here can be used to adjust the skirt so that it can fit the wear so the, i have just put uh, connected the two or joined the two using a lace which is going all the way to the back is going all the way to the back and can be removed through uh, through this part because it is coming from the back and then all the way to the cleavage here we will start our project by making a slip knot and make sure it's not exaggerated just a small one then we make 16 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, then you chain 1 and you put your we start putting single crochet in every stitch until we reach the last one. Just move slowly. We are putting single crochet, no other.
to continue until we finish just around this is what we are making we are making this here i've already made the first pair so we are dealing with this area continue and finish and nursing process we've arrived at the last stage so we are going to put our single crochet then i'll show you what you are going to do from there you just turn so we change uh, chain one and then we turn and continue putting the single crochet If you reach the top, I'll show you what you are going to do when you get to the top. From to the yeah to the top of this work. When you get here, we are going to do some addition here. okay this is what we have <laughs> we have a small rectangle here so we are going to put this is our top stitch this is easy to trace it so on this stitch on top here we will be putting three single crochet together in the same space observe what i'm going to do just come here and they put three, sorry, three single crochet in the same same space. Then you put the, the second one, you put your mark because we will always be putting three whenever we are passing through that area. So you go back and put the third one. Mm. That is our work. Now we are not going to turn this and clockwise, but we will move, continue moving. So we put our next single crochet here and the proceed until we get to the base of this work. In the tail, okay. This is what we have. So, we are going to we are going to continue this way. We will chain one, then turn our work. And when we turn our work, we make sure that we crochet this tail inside. So, you put your first single crochet here. This is stitch. Then you continue. Remember, we are trimming the tail. You can see I'm holding it and then going with it so that our work will look clean and we don't have to deal with it later.
okay, we have approached to where we have the mark. So when you get it to this place, you remove your mark. After removing the mark, you put three single crochet where the mark was so that you can keep on increasing the size of this bra. So we have made two, so we return our mark. And when you'll be coming back again, you'll put three in the same, same space. So proceed. You have to be very careful here not to leave this stitch we have a stitch here so you work on it so that your base here will be balanced and once you do that you chain one then you turn your work and this is where we put our first double sorry single crochet and then we proceed the other secret is whenever you get where the mark is you put three single crochet in the same space so that you can grow your the, the you can increase the size of your bra so continue working and make a few rounds we will connect after you've made three to four rounds okay this is our work i've already made four rows so ensure that as you work you take care of this area always increase by putting three to, by putting three together and when you get at the corner here do not forget this stitch which is always hide here and then don't forget to chain one before turning your work and when you turn don't put a stitch here that is wrong you have to go to the next stitch because the chain is counting as a stitch and then you proceed working and then don't make your work too loose remember this is a bra cut and we don't need loose stitches So continue and make enough rounds for your size for mine so for a teenager so I don't have to make so many rows I've also made a skirt that will be masked with the same I'll show you when time comes how the skirt looks like So don't forget this stitch which is here, it is one of the three. After you've dealt with it, you remove your mark and immediately you remove your mark, you put three double sorry, three single crochet together. But in the second one, even before continuing, you put a mark. I suggest you use the mark so that you don't forget so we have three now these are three then we proceed with our round until when you come back again and arrive at that point that is when we are going to treat it the same way we have treated it put three single crochet together so that it can, we can expand expand the cup of the bra 
can see it is forming a, a prism. This is the inside part. Don't worry about the tail. So this is like a prism. I don't know. A prism like. And it is just opening in layers. So we just proceed. Until when we have the size that we want for our cup. Remember. Cups are not the same. Some are big, others are small size, so make your choice, your size, mm. make your size by just increasing the rows. I want to show you the hidden stitch. If you can see here, it is appearing as if we have only the one stitch here. But we have two, so we have this one, and then we have the chain here. This is the chain, and it is very handy hidden. You can be tempted to skip it, but if you skip it, your work will be regular, so you work on it, and don't forget to chain one. Then you turn. Once you turn, it is not here, but the next stitch, because the chain is already standing and counting as a single crochet. So continue and make enough rows for your cup. We are going to connect and do the finishing together. We are still making uh, our cup. We wa I want you to be of the same size with this one that I made earlier. This, uh, this one is seven, 17 rounds. So this one is less three rounds. We are going to continue and complete the rounds. So just keep on going round. Okay, we have made 15 rounds of the cup. Now we are going to put this in decoration which is here. You can see the decoration that we have put at the end of this cup. So we are going to put it. Remember this bra or this uh, top bra is to be worn with this skirt that I made earlier. So we want the bra to have a resemblance in this pattern. So you can see I have put the same same pattern at the end here. So we are going to work on this other cap and put the same pattern. Now you just come here after completing your 14 round then chain one then after that you put six six single crochet so those are four five six and then you chain one and skip one go to the next and continue to put six one Two, three, four, five, six, then chain one, skip one, go to the next, and then you continue one, two, three. Four, five, six, chain one, then you skip one, go to the next and continue one, two, three, four, five, six. Then chain one, skip one, go to the next. Then when you get to the area where we have the mark, you just put three as usual. Three single crochet. One, two, then return the mark. the position then con 
18 here. So you start after putting three here, you start counting one, one, two, three, four, five, six, chain one, skip one. And you continue until the end of the round. Okay. If you reached the end of the round, so we are going to put the last two stitches and turn our work. Then chain one as usual, turn our work. And then put, we proceed putting, see, uh, the single crochet until we get where we have our gap so we have reached where we have our gap this is a place where we have our gap so what we are going to do is we will read, we will read, uh, stop at chain, uh, three chains to the gap. This is the gap here. So we have one, two, three, then uh, three. Then we move here and put six single crochet in the same space. Two, three, four. Five, six. Now we have six already, so we are going to skip one, two, three, and put our first single crochet at chain three. So you can see what we have created. We move on, putting single crochet. We have the next space here. So we continue until we meet the next space. This is here. Uh, sorry, you just do a single crochet. Then from there you come here. The space is here. You put six single crochet in the same space. We have five, we are less one. Then we put our stitch here, the third chain, and continue working until the end of the round. Okay, when you get where we have the mark, you just remove the mark. Sorry, you have to, to put this in a single crochet first. Then you remove the mark and you put three single crochet together. And we are not getting the mark back because we are not doing an addition anymore. So you proceed, you put a single crochet here. And then from there, you go to the next. Then from there you skip to the space which is here and you put six single crochet in the same space. Two, three, four, five, six. So continue working until we meet at the hand here we have completed the round and this is what we have so we are going to chain not one this time we are going to chain three and turn one two three then turn our work and we put our 
single crochet half chain number three one two three so we put it here or a stitch number three then we chain three again one two three uh, sorry you have to look at this work which is done here to know exactly what we are doing so when you do this put the stitch there you move again and uh, we are making loops we are making loops in our work and uh, this is what we are going to use to fix our um, bra cap so chain three then you count one, two, three. You put your nest, single crochet, then chain three again. One, two, three. Then you count one, two in number three. You put a single crochet. So we continue this way until the end of the round. One, two, three. You fix it here. Then you continue chaining three and then one, two, three, you fix it here until the end of the round. One, two, three, you fix it here. This is the area where we were increasing our work, so we are not increasing anymore. We are doing the final work. One, two, three. We put it here. So continue and finish the round. I'll meet you here. Then I'll show you what we are going to do next. Okay, we have already completed making the two cups. And then now we are going to join them. But not be, we, first of all, we are going to make 90 chains so that we can uh, continue working. Make 90 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we are making part of the back. Continue and make 90 chains or what will fit you. You can even make 100 if that is what fits you. Okay, a little correction. The main I have made a chain of 76 and therefore this will be the back. So I'm going to join my work with a slip stitch at the first chain here. We put a slip stitch here. Then from there you continue making Double, I have double, sorry, not double crochet, but uh, single crochet throughout the round. Throughout this area. So we make single crochet in every stitch without skipping any. We have 35 in number, so ensure you are counting yours. And make that five in number. Uh, 
has to move so slowly until you finish the round. Continue working. Continue working if, uh, until you get to this corner here. Okay, we've reached the corner here. So we are going to chain one and turn our work. And remember to move with the tail if you have, your work is having a tail. Don't leave it in behind. And continue putting single crochet until we reach the other part of the cap. And see, I'm moving with the tail so that the work will look clean. I'm crocheting it inside the work. When you do that, your work also becomes strong and firm. Don't cut it. Just crochet it inside to make the work firm. Remember, this is a bra and it needs to be firm. So continue. Until you finish the cap, I'll meet you at the gym to show you what we are going to do. Okay, we've reached the end of the round. So we are going to, we have already chained one. We are going to cut the yarn. And then pull through. Then we place our cap here. We are now we will now want to connect the two and this will be the front. This will be the front half here and here it is back. So we are going to make a chain of 70. Yeah, sorry. We are going to uh, not chain 17, but we are going to start working from here going this side so you just turn your cap this way and then you make a slip knot make a slip knot sorry 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 Make a slip knot. And then you come here and insert your hook. And this is stitch which is here in this that way. Remember we have another tail there but we are going to tear more of them. So you pull through. After pulling through you get your two tails. And we are going to work them inside, inside our work. So what we are going to do is we are going to put a single crochet in every stitch without skipping. And you move with the tail, crochet to them inside your work. So continue working until you get to the end of this cap, uh, the other corner, this corner here. So you keep on working, putting single crochet. Continue, I'll meet you here. So we have reached this corner here. We will not turn back, but we are going to make 76 chains. This will be part of the back. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Continue and make 76. Okay, we have made. 76 chains you can go ahead and make be a longer chains if you are making 
for a be a lunch my name is Masais so you you want to join the, the chain without it twisting you have to move slowly and check the fair side of your stitches and then we join to the other cap the other part of the cap so you just come here get your hook the chain is not twisted as far now so you get this corner of the cap and make your first remember we are dealing with the back side of our top so what you do is you put your first stitch here trim the tail put a slip slip stitch the slip stitch here and that counts as our first stitch so you move putting on single crochet and you trim the tails remember not to skip any part that deserves a single crochet so continue working and ensure that the chain is not twisted before you move far you have to be very careful mine is not twisted so we move until we get to this corner here continue on okay we've reached we've reached the end of the round so we put our last stitch then we chain one and turn and continue with the same single crochet until we reach the other cap that I'm going to show you how you are going to work when we get to the chain. So continue working until we get to the other part of the cap. Now until we get to where we have the chain. Okay, we've arrived where we have the chain, so we are going to put a single crochet in every stitch without twisting our work until the end of the round. So put a single crochet in every stitch and don't twist your work. Just move slowly. After this round, you'll be able to move smoothly and a bit faster okay we have joined the two cups and you can see our chain is not twisted so we will continue with a single crochet until we get the other corner of this work Okay, we've reached the corner, then we move on, put our last stitch here, then we chain one, two, three, and we continue putting, we put double crochet in every stitch until the end of this round. So we have changed, we are no longer putting a single crochet, but we are putting a double crochet in our work. So continue working until we get the end of the round. Until we get this other corner of the cup. We have reached the part of the chain so you continue with the same double crochet 
as soon in the video. see what we have so continue working okay i've made two rounds of double crochet and this is how our work looks like and remember this is the back and then the front will be just with this here so this will be the front this will be the back now what we are going to do is we are going to put this pattern of the skirt that I made earlier, this will be worn with this bra top. So what we do is we chain, chain three, one, two, three. Then we turn our work. Sorry, turn our work. I will repeat. We chain three. One, two. Three, turn our work and then we don't count this stitch start counting this one until you make nine double crochet one two three four five six Seven, eight, eight. Now, when you make a sorry, you have to make nine, nine. Then you chain one. Skip this stitch and go to the next, and put under the crochet, and continue doing the same after every nine. You chain one and skip one stitch. We've completed the round, so we are going to chain three one, two, three, and then turn our work. Then we turn our work. We are going to put a double crochet in the first stitch, in the first stitch from the chain. Then from there, we skip to this gap and make six double crochet sorry i've made a mistake it's supposed to put a single crochet in this stitch the second stitch to the steam then from there we put six double crochet this is double crochet in the space that we made using a chain so three four five six now after doing that we skip one two then in the third one we put a single crochet that way and this is what we get then we continue working double crochet until we approach the last three towards the other gap so this is our last gap one more stitch to go sorry we have one more stitch to go then from there you put a single crochet in the next stitch and skip these two go to the space and put six and double crochet together we have three four five and six now once we are six you skip two one two put a single crochet here and then continue putting double crochet until you approach the last three to answer the next thing up so here we come 
Now we put a single crochet here. Then we land to the space. This is the space. And we put six and double crochet together. In the space that we created using a chain. So we have three, four, five, six. And see how our pattern is coming out. So we continue working until the end of the round. Okay, we have completed the round. So we have uh, also chain three. We will turn our work and make two rounds of three double crochet. Then we are going to meet. Just continue and make two rounds of three double crochet without any pattern. So continue working. We have reached the end of the round. So we are going to chain, sorry, to put our last double crochet. Then chain one and turn our work. Turn our work. Then we turn our work with count one, two, three. And in number three, we put six and double crochet together. The same space. So we have three, we have four, we have five. Then we have six in the same, same space. So this is what you get. Let us confirm one, two, there are six. Then we skip one, two, we go to three and put a single crochet. And that's how our work we look like we are doing the finishing. Now then we count again one, two, three, put six together. Two, three. Four, five, six. Then you move one, two, three, and the three you put a single, single crochet. So I'm demonstrate once more. One, two, three, put a. Put six together, a cluster of six, double crochet, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three, put a single crochet. And then you continue until the end of the round. Okay, we have finished the round. Now we are going to chain one, two, three, and the turn of our work. We are doing the final finishing. Then we put a single crochet at the end of the stitch. And then one, two, Three, put it at the one, two, sorry, you skip two, eh? one, two, then in the third chain, you put single crochet, one, two, three, one, two, three, put a single crochet, continue until you finish the round. Okay, we have finished making the top bra uh, for the skirt that we made earlier you can see what we have come up with i have also gone ahead and made this lace here on top of one cup this will be passing behind the neck and then the way around will be fixing it here and then the bra will be good 
to go now you can look this is the back this is the back of our bra these are the two cups and the clipping is here so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to connect or to yeah to link the this top with the skirt that i made earlier this is the skirt so uh, i have made a very very long chain that will be used here is the chain that will be used to loop this work uh, uh, remember it has to join the work remember the skirt has loops and also the top has loops so we are going to use the the long lace to join so what you do here for you to be able to connect you must understand that this is the side of the skirt then from there you bring your bra your top and fix it in a way that you it is matching and it is targeting every area is the same targeting from the center so this is the center of our work so we are going to put our first i've already hooked my i've already hooked my lace this is the, the tool that i'm going to use to fix so we are going to take this loop here loop of the skirt and then negotiate the the lace it is a long one so that it can go round hope you're seeing so you can see this is the lace now from there we come to the part of the bra here or top and then put on the matching or corresponding loop so you can see what you've done from there you come down again to the skirt check what we are doing then from there after moving from the skirt we go back to the top so it is alternating from the skirt to the top from the skirt to the top following the, the loops as they are until you come round to the front until you come round to the front can see what we are forming so we continue moving okay once you put in the skirt straight away we will go to the top and this is how we are moving make sure you also balance them don't bring so close there must be a, 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 a area here hope you get what i'm saying then we can go back to the other thing sorry not to go back to the other loop of the top and see how we are looping don't skip them then you come back to this other one then go back to the top so continue looping until the end of the round